Um, <clears throat> you know, it's it's tough to see you know him go down like that on a freak accident. You know, uh, sorry, on a freak accident like that. Like that's that's tough, man. And you know, I don't know the full extent. You know, I don't have any news for y'all. But you know, as far as he goes, he's a fighter. He's a competitor. He's gonna be back strong. But you know, the one thing about this group, man, like we we fought and competed. You know, when a man goes down. Next guy stepping up, you know that's that's the road to being a good team, a really good team. And you know, obviously, we 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 did a, we didn't do a bunch of things that we can control. Turnovers. Um, they started the fourth quarter with three or threes in a row. Um, little things, closeouts, rebounds. Like you know, they had 16 or 18 second chance points, um, and we still were right there. You know, so if we clean those up, it's a, we're right there. But to see DG go down, man, it's, it's tough. But. Um, I'm proud of the way this group responded, you know, and then for me, just just doing my job, whatever that may call for. That's what I said before I came over. If it's, if it's being more on ball, off ball, you know, defending, whatever it may be. So, um, and then you got the bigs, man, making hell of a hell of a play. <laughs> this dude right here, man, making plays down the stretch on both ends of the floor, you know. Um, Ev as well, you know, so that that's huge. Jarrett, for you, uh, what did you just see coming out of that, like the fourth quarter, especially the breakdowns on both sides of the ball? Uh, we could have executed things a little better. Everybody, you know, offense, defense, like Donovan said, there's a lot of things that we could control that we didn't execute to our standard of play. Uh, but still, there was a lot of good things that we did down the stretch in terms of just figuring out how to play in the end game, where to be, the right spots, communicating as a team. So it didn't end as we wanted to, but we saw a lot of positives. That's kind of where Doug Arnold could sit right next to you, but what did you see from Don tonight? Uh, his first game, right. official game with the Cavs? Uh, leadership. Uh, he led us, whether he was talking on the, you know, obviously he had 31 points, you know, he shot the ball well. Just taking that out, we know what he can do on the court. But in terms of just getting us where we need to be, telling us how to run the offense, talking on defense, did excellent then. Don, it seemed like you took your time kind of finding your spots early on and then as the game progressed, got a little more into things. Are you kind of just feeling your way through? Yeah, and, you know that's that's the the big thing playing with you know a bunch of a bunch of good guys is trying to find your spot, especially against a team like Toronto. You don't want to just come in full bore. You know that's kind of how they want to turn you over. Um, and then obviously DG goes down, so my, I'm on the ball more, trying to direct in traffic. And you know the best thing about it is you know I'm out there trying to lead, like Jay said, but you know they're talking to me about what they see and find ways to make myself better. But for me, just trying to find ways to, to make the game easy, not just for myself, for everybody. And, you know, we didn't end the first quarter well. We was I think they had 21 points, and then next thing you know, they give up two threes. So it's a matter of how we respond <clears throat> in that in that second quarter, especially when Darius went down. And I think we did a good job of that. Chetty Osman, you know, hit a bunch of shots, guarded well. Uh, Karras is guarding, you know, just finding ways to, to, make our, to raise our intensity level. Um, and, you know, with a game like that in a city like this and Toronto's fans are loud and, you know, it's, a, it's an aggressive team and, you know, it's one of those things that they're going to make runs, they're going to make pushes, but how do we push back and respond it? And we, we responded every, pretty much every time. And then, you know, that one time we let our guard down, you know, they, they hit us with a hook in the fourth and it's hard to recover from that, especially on the, on, at home. But like I told them in the locker room, man, like this is our first time as a group. You know, going against a really tough playoff team and, you know, for us to have a, a, some mishaps that we can control, you know, it's, it's, it's always good to win, you know, a game, but, you know, when you have a lesson like, okay, we can fix this and this, and we only lost by, by three, you know, so find a ways to improve uh, day by day um, throughout the game. I heard you guys having to be walking behind you guys and you were talking through <clears throat> those couple turnovers there yeah. late in the fourth. Is, is that just kind of a natural thing that as you guys play more together, you're going to see those reads the same way instead of seeing it different ways and kind of, you know, just that seems like just a natural kind of shifting all the time, I would imagine, right? Yeah, it's just it's part of the game. It's part of the growing as teammates. Uh, it's our first game playing together. You know, our yeah. first official game playing together. We still have a lot of things to iron out. A lot of things just to communicate about off the court after it happens. But that's just just how we do it. How players do it. Mm -hmm.